Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1969s. Today, we're exposing 20 celebrities whose lives took a shocking turn. From reckless lifestyles and addiction to shocking violations of human ethics and the law, these stars fell from grace in ways you won't believe. Once icons of beauty and success, their choices led to tragic transformations that stunned the world. What drove them to such extremes, and was it worth the downfall? Join us as we uncover the dark secrets of fame. Can you guess who spiraled out of control? Watch until the end to uncover the truth. Number 20, Axel Rose. Once known for his striking looks and heavy metal rock star style, rose to fame in the 1980s and 1990s with his powerful and distinctive voice. Guns N' Roses released their album, Appetite for Destruction, in 1987, which became one of the best-selling albums of all time. Rose has undergone significant changes in appearance due to his past reckless lifestyle. During the peak of the 1980s and 1990s, he struggled with alcohol and drug addiction, which not only impacted his career but also took a toll on his health and looks. His addiction led to noticeable weight gain, a puffy face, and the charisma of his earlier days gradually faded, leaving behind a weary, aged image. In recent years, Axel Rose has appeared in public with a heavier, much older physique compared to his prime. Unspecified health issues have also affected his performance ability, leading to the cancellation of several shows, including one in Scotland in 2022. He has shared that he is following his doctor's guidance to recover, hoping to continue performing on stage with Guns N' Roses. Axel's hedonistic lifestyle has shocked fans and become a hot topic for the media. Number 19, Billy Idol, born William Michael Albert Broad, is a legendary punk rock icon from the 1980s. He began his music career with the punk rock band Chelsea and later formed Generation X in 1976. His album Rebel Yell, 1983, catapulted him to fame, earning him numerous accolades and commercial success in his solo career. However, Idol's rebellious lifestyle came with significant consequences. He has openly acknowledged his struggles with drugs and alcohol. In his memoir, he recounts wild incidents resulting from his hedonistic lifestyle, such as the time he trashed a hotel room at Chateau Marmont while naked and covered in blood, sweat, and booze. Idol also faced a riot in Thailand that caused approximately $250,000 in damages to a hotel, prompting local authorities to intervene and escort him out. These events severely impacted his career and public image. In addition, Billy Idol has dealt with serious health issues. In 2022, he contracted a methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus MRSA, infection due to a sinus infection. This condition is difficult to treat because the bacteria are resistant to many antibiotics, forcing him to undergo extensive treatment and cancel multiple performances, including his tour with Journey earlier that year. Number 18, Tatum O'Neill, the Oscar-winning Hollywood actress, has faced numerous challenges throughout her life and career. Her journey began at a young age with her outstanding performance in the film Paper Moon, 1973, making her the youngest person ever to win an Oscar at just 10 years old. However, her life after that has been full of trials, O'Neill struggled with drug addiction for decades. In May 2020, she suffered a severe drug overdose that led to a near-fatal stroke, leaving her in a coma for six weeks. During this time, she also experienced cardiac arrest and multiple seizures, which caused brain damage and resulted in aphasia, severely impacting her ability to speak and communicate. After waking up, she underwent a grueling rehabilitation process to recover her memory and language skills while fighting to stay sober and overcome the psychological and physical trauma. In addition to these struggles, O'Neill also battles rheumatoid arthritis, an autoimmune disorder that causes painful swelling and difficulty moving in her joints. She has undergone back surgery and may require additional surgeries on her knee and neck. This condition has limited her hand mobility, forcing her to relearn how to write.
Number 17, Shane McGowan, the former frontman of the Pogues, famous for songs like Fairy Tale of New York, has experienced many ups and downs throughout his career. He is well known not only for his musical talent but also for his wild lifestyle. McGowan was fired from the Pogues in 1991 due to the negative impact of alcohol and drug abuse on the band's performances. In his later years, he faced numerous health issues. In 2015, McGowan suffered a pelvic fracture and has been confined to a wheelchair ever since. He was diagnosed with encephalitis in 2022, a dangerous condition that causes inflammation of the brain and can be life-threatening. After multiple hospitalizations, McGowan passed away on November 30, 2023, due to pneumonia, at the age of 65. Prior to this, he had been hospitalized several times for recurring bouts of pneumonia. His passing leaves a deep sense of loss for his family, friends, and fans around the world. Number 16, Macaulay Culkin rose to fame as a child star with his role in Home Alone, but his personal life has been marked by a series of ups and downs. After achieving early success, Culkin began to face serious challenges, particularly in the 2000s. He was frequently in the headlines due to rumors surrounding his unhealthy lifestyle, including substance abuse. In 2004, he was arrested for possession of illegal substances, including marijuana and prescription medications he didn't have a prescription for. This raised significant concerns about his mental and physical health. Images of a frail and disheveled Culkin flooded the media, shocking fans. At one point, he was rumored to be using heroin and overdosing on tranquilizers, which led many to fear for his life. Culkin seemed to lose control of his life, seriously impacting both his acting career and his public image, although Culkin is now somewhat more stable, he has chosen to live a private life with fewer public appearances. His current life is largely focused on personal activities like writing, painting, and participating in small projects with friends. Culkin has mentioned that he primarily lives a reclusive lifestyle in New York and France, making an effort to stay away from the media spotlight. Number 15, Kate Moss, the famous British supermodel, was once regarded as the ultimate fashion icon of the 1990s. However, her personal life has been marred by scandals and a reckless lifestyle. In the early 2000s, Moss was frequently spotted at all-night parties, leading to rampant speculation about her drug use. The situation reached a boiling point in 2005 when photos surfaced showing her using cocaine, sparking a strong backlash from the public. As a result, she lost numerous lucrative modeling contracts with high-end fashion brands. Moss's hedonistic lifestyle also took a toll on her appearance. Once known for her striking features and slender figure, the effects of time and substance abuse made her look worn out and older than her actual age. Although there were times she tried to regain her former glory, the signs of her indulgent lifestyle remained visible on her face and body. Number 14, Randy Quaid, a renowned actor who received an Oscar nomination, has experienced many ups and downs in his personal life and career. He had an impressive career with memorable roles in films like The Last Detail and the National Lampoon's Vacation series. However, starting around 2010, Quaid's life began to spiral into a series of troubles. In 2010, Randy and his wife, Evie Quaid, fled to Canada after being accused of vandalism and squatting in a home in Santa Barbara, California. The couple claimed they were being persecuted and were in danger in the U.S. in 2015. They were arrested while trying to cross the border from Canada back into the U.S. They faced charges related to evading law enforcement and vandalism, but were later released due to inconsistencies in California's legal proceedings. 
After his release, Randy expressed his intention to live in Vermont and considered joining the local fire department. Recently, Quaid continued to make headlines by announcing his intention to run for governor of California in 2021, indicating that he has not shied away from controversy and public life. Number 13, Harvey Weinstein was once a powerful film producer in Hollywood, behind many iconic works such as Pulp Fiction and Shakespeare in Love. However, in October 2017, over 80 women, including stars like Angelina Jolie, Gwyneth Paltrow, Rose McGowan, and Ashley Judd, accused him of sexual harassment and assault. These allegations ignited the hashtag MeToo movement, encouraging numerous victims to speak out against abusers of power. Weinstein was subsequently fired from his company and expelled from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. In 2020, he was sentenced to 23 years in prison in New York for third-degree rape and first-degree sexual assault. He is currently serving his sentence at the Wendy Correctional Facility and facing a second trial in California. These ethical and legal violations have destroyed his reputation and serve as a stark reminder of the abuse of power within the entertainment industry. What do you think about Harvey Weinstein? How does it feel knowing that a powerful figure who once made Hollywood stars bow down has now been exposed for his crimes and sentenced to prison? Would you like to learn more about the dark secrets within Hollywood? Comment 1. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the exciting parts in the upcoming videos. Number 12, Donatella Versace is a renowned Italian fashion designer and the current creative director of the Versace brand. Born in 1955 in Reggio Calabria, she stepped into the fashion industry in the 1970s, working alongside her brother, Johnny Versace. Initially serving as vice president, she collaborated with him to establish the brand's image and design accessories like shoes and handbags. After Gianni's tragic death in 1997, Donatella took on the role of creative director, continuing to evolve Versace into a global fashion icon. Donatella has faced numerous personal challenges throughout her life. She battled a cocaine addiction for 18 years but successfully overcame it in 2005. Additionally, she was a heavy smoker until she decided to quit in 2014. These experiences have profoundly impacted her life and career. Regarding cosmetic surgery, Donatella has undergone multiple procedures in her quest to maintain a youthful appearance, a common choice in the fashion and entertainment world. However, these aesthetic efforts have led to significant changes in her look. Today, Donatella is recognized for her bold personal style and daring designs, helping to sustain the Versace fashion empire. She is also celebrated for her philanthropic contributions and has received numerous prestigious awards in the industry. Number 11, Val Kilmer is one of Hollywood's famous stars, known for films like Top Gun and Batman Forever. However, his career has been heavily impacted by throat cancer. In 2015, Kilmer began showing concerning health signs, but he repeatedly denied rumors about being ill. By 2017, he publicly revealed his battle with throat cancer. Kilmer's cancer treatment included radiation, chemotherapy, and a tracheostomy which severely damaged his voice and significantly affected his quality of life. After treatment, he had to use a feeding tube, and his voice became hoarse and difficult to understand. Although he has recovered and is cancer-free, Kilmer struggles with communication and has turned to artificial intelligence I, technology to help recreate his voice. The illness has profoundly affected both his career and personal life. Despite these challenges, Kilmer remains determined to pursue his acting career and artistic endeavors continuing to participate in projects by using AI to share his story.
Number 10, Amanda Bynes, once a famous star in the entertainment industry, has faced numerous challenges in her personal life and career. Her career peak came from her roles on television and in films, such as The Amanda Show and the movie Easy A. However, the pressures of fame and body image issues led her to abuse Adderall to lose weight. In addition, Bynes experimented with drugs like ecstasy and cocaine, which resulted in a mental health breakdown and a pause in her acting career in 2012. Her psychological struggles and substance abuse led to multiple arrests, including for driving under the influence. By 2013, she was hospitalized for mental health treatment and placed under her mother's conservatorship. This conservatorship lasted nearly nine years, ending in 2022 when she successfully demonstrated that she had regained control of her health. Currently, Amanda Bynes is focused on stabilizing her life and health. She has completed her studies at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising and is planning future projects, including launching her own perfume line. Bynes is enjoying her new life with her fiancé, actively building a future with the support and love of her family. Number 9, Charlie Sheen, born Carlos Erwin Estevez, is well known for his acting career in both film and television. He has starred in successful movies like, Platoon, Wall Street, and, Eight Men Out, and became a television icon for his role as Charlie Harper in the sitcom, Two and a Half Men. In 2010, he was the highest paid TV actor, earning $1.8 million per episode, however, Sheen's personal life has been tumultuous. He has openly struggled with addiction to alcohol and drugs, along with various controversial behaviors. In 2011, he was fired from Two and a Half Men due to drug-related issues and conflicts with the producers. In 2015, he revealed that he was HIV positive, sparking significant controversy and impacting discussions around HIV testing in society. Despite the serious impact on his career, Sheen has made efforts to overcome his addictions and live a more responsible life. He has been sober since 2017, striving to be a better parent and working on improving his health and public image. Number 8, Gillian Anderson born in 1968 in Chicago, is a talented actress renowned for her impressive performances throughout her career. She is widely recognized for her role as FBI Special Agent Dana Scully in the sci-fi series The X-Files. Additionally, she has made a mark in films such as The House of Mirth, 2000, and The Fall, 2013-2016. Recently, Anderson garnered attention for portraying British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher in Netflix's The Crown, 2020 for which she won a Golden Globe Award in 2021. Beyond acting, Anderson is actively involved in writing and charity work, collaborating with various humanitarian organizations. She moved to London in 2002 and was honored with the title of OBE, Officer of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, in 2016 for her contributions to the arts. At 56, Gillian Anderson continues to engage actively in numerous film projects. However, the passage of time is evident on her face, contrasting sharply with her radiant beauty during her prime. Recently, she appeared in the Netflix film Scoop, playing Emily Maitlis, which offers a fresh perspective on her colorful acting career and her evolution over the years. Number 7, Lindsay Lohan, once a prominent star known for her roles in films like Mean Girls and The Parent Trap, has faced numerous controversies and struggles that have impacted her career. With her talent in acting and music, she quickly rose to become a teen icon of the 2000s. However, her career began to decline due to her troubled lifestyle. Lohan encountered significant issues with substance abuse, leading her to enter and exit rehab multiple times. In 2010, 
she was sentenced to 90 days in jail and was required to spend three months in rehab after violating probation related to a prior DUI case. She tearfully pleaded for understanding from the judge, but ultimately, she had to accept her sentence. After a series of troubles, Lohan sought a fresh start by moving to London, followed by Dubai and Greece, where she opened the Lohan Beach Club. Despite her efforts to reboot her life and career, her controversial past and infamous lifestyle have had a lasting effect on her reputation. Number 6, Peter Frampton. The renowned singer and guitarist, was once famous for his handsome and charming looks in the 1970s. He made significant contributions to the music world, especially with his 1976 album Frampton Comes Alive, one of the best-selling live albums of all time. However, time and lifestyle changes have altered his appearance. Frampton no longer resembles the youthful star he once was, due to the effects of aging and personal challenges. In 2019, Frampton revealed that he was battling a rare muscle disease called inclusion body myositis IBM. This condition causes progressive inflammation and weakness of the muscles, significantly impacting his ability to move, stand, and play guitar. Despite facing numerous challenges, Frampton has maintained a positive attitude and continues to fight on, supported by medical professionals and fans, the effects of IBM have severely impacted his ability to perform music, leading him to make the decision to embark on a farewell tour. Nevertheless, Frampton continues to record and release new albums, and he has established a research fund to support treatment for IBM at Johns Hopkins Hospital. Number 5, Burt Reynolds was one of Hollywood's brightest stars during the 1970s and 1980s. With his performances in classic films like, Deliverance, 1972, and, Smokey and the Bandit, 1977, he established himself as a cinematic icon, known for his handsome looks, masculine style, and impressive acting talent. Beyond film, Reynolds also made significant appearances on television and received numerous prestigious awards throughout his entertainment career, which spanned over 50 years. However, Reynolds's life was not without its challenges, as he faced various health issues and career decisions. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Burt Reynolds battled an addiction to the sedative Halcyon after suffering a jaw injury while filming City Heat, 1984. This struggle lasted over four years, during which he nearly lost his life due to substance abuse. Reynolds revealed that he was taking up to 50 pills a day to manage pain and had even slipped into a coma after suddenly stopping the medication. In 2009, following back surgery, he again faced issues with prescription drug addiction and was forced to enter rehab to reclaim his life. Number 4, Sean Young is an actress known for her role in the science fiction film, Blade Runner, 1982. She was once a glamorous icon of the 1980s and had several memorable performances in films like, Dune, 1984, and, No Way Out, 1987. However, her career has been marred by controversies, in 1989, James Woods sued her for harassment, but the case was settled out of court, and Young denied all allegations. She also faced legal troubles, including an arrest after a 2012 Oscar event for trespassing without a ticket, and in 2018, she was accused of stealing two laptops but returned them and was not charged. On a personal level, Sean Young has struggled with alcohol abuse, participating in the show, Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew, in 2011. These controversies have significantly impacted her career in the Hollywood entertainment industry.
Number 3, Paul Hogan is a famous Australian actor and comedian. He began his career with the television show, The Paul Hogan Show, in the 1970s and reached the height of his fame with the role of Michael, Crocodile, Dundee in the 1986 film of the same name. This iconic film earned him a Golden Globe and an Oscar nomination. Although Hogan appeared in many other films afterward, none managed to surpass the shadow of Crocodile Dundee. At 84 years old, Hogan now lives a quiet life in the United States. Recently, he has faced several health issues, including heart problems and joint pain. His appearance has changed significantly, featuring white hair and a weary demeanor. Hogan's later years have been relatively tranquil, especially after the turbulence surrounding his marriage and legal matters. Even though his acting career has moved past its peak, Hogan remains a symbol of Australian cinema, forever associated with the image of a strong yet humorous crocodile hunter. Number 2, Whitney Houston, famously known as The Voice, left an indelible mark on the music industry with her powerful voice and dazzling career. However, she struggled for years with drug addiction, which severely impacted both her life and career. According to her close friend Robin Crawford, Houston first tried cocaine at just 14 years old. Although she was aware of the dangers of drugs, she couldn't break free from this habit throughout her career especially after marrying Bobby Brown in 1992. This marriage further exacerbated her drug use and isolation. In addition to maintaining a flawless public image, Houston faced immense pressure from her career, a grueling work schedule, and personal issues. To cope with these pressures, she turned to drugs. By the end of her life, Whitney Houston was no longer the beautiful, radiant star she once was. Her decline in appearance and health was a direct result of her years of addiction, Ultimately, Whitney Houston passed away at the age of 48 on February 11, 2012, due to drowning in a hotel bathtub, with contributing factors including heart disease and cocaine use. Other substances, such as marijuana and muscle relaxants, were also found in her system, although they did not directly cause her death. Number 1, Orenthal James Simpson, better known as O.J. Simpson, was a professional football player and a prominent American actor. He played in the NFL for 11 seasons, primarily with the Buffalo Bills, and is regarded as one of the best running backs of all time. Beyond his football career, Simpson appeared in numerous films and television shows, becoming a familiar face in American entertainment. Simpson's life has been marred by serious legal controversies. In 1994, he was tried for the murders of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ronald Goldman. Despite overwhelming evidence against him, Simpson was acquitted in a highly publicized eight-month trial in 1995, which sparked widespread debate and was dubbed the trial of the century. Three years later, he was found liable in a civil suit but only paid a fraction of the $33.5 million judgment. In 2007, Simpson was arrested again for armed robbery and kidnapping related to an attempt to retrieve sports memorabilia he claimed had been stolen. He was sentenced to 33 years in prison and was released in 2017. Simpson passed away on April 10, 2024, due to cancer. Janice Dickinson, famously known as the world's first supermodel, has had a remarkable career in the fashion and entertainment industry. In her youth, she stood out with her striking beauty, bold personality, and confident demeanor, making her a favorite face on the covers of many top magazines. However, beyond the glitz and glamour, Janice's life has been filled with challenges, including personal struggles with addiction, cosmetic surgery, and health issues. Janice admitted to starting plastic surgery at the age of 32 while dating actor Sylvester Stallone. 
Since then, she has undergone various procedures such as breast augmentation, facelifts, neck lifts, and Botox injections. Some of these surgeries led to serious complications, which eventually brought her to appear on the show, botched, to correct them. In addition to her cosmetic journey, Janice has battled alcohol and drug addiction, seeking treatment on celebrity rehab. In 2016, she was diagnosed with breast cancer and underwent two surgeries along with eight weeks of radiation therapy. Today, she is in recovery and remains committed to prioritizing her health. Gina Davis, one of Hollywood's iconic beauties, has had a remarkable career in film and television. With her impressive height and captivating beauty, she was known as one of the most youthful and alluring actresses of the 80s and 90s. Gina has made significant contributions to cinema with outstanding performances in films like Thelma and Louise and A League of Their Own, earning her both an Oscar and a Golden Globe. However, Gina Davis's beauty has become a topic of controversy as she has faced persistent rumors about undergoing cosmetic surgery to maintain her youthful appearance. Many speculate that she has received Botox injections, had facelifts, and lip fillers. While Gina has admitted to using Botox, she denies undergoing other procedures like breast augmentation or rhinoplasty. Despite these rumors, her before and after photos continue to spark discussion in the media. Gina has shared that her experience with her mother's Alzheimer's disease profoundly influenced her choice of roles related to this theme. Despite facing various challenges, she has maintained a strong career, unaffected by serious health issues or addiction. Stay tuned because the next actors will truly shock you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button to support us. Thank you so much. Tulisa Contestavlos is an English singer, songwriter, and television personality, best known as a member of the group N-Dubs and a judge on The X Factor. In her youth, Tulisa was celebrated for her natural beauty and youthful, captivating style, becoming a symbol of British youth in the 2000s. However, her career and image began to decline following a series of personal controversies. In 2013, Tulisa admitted to undergoing cosmetic procedures, including lip and cheek fillers, to alter her appearance. She explained that, after experiencing significant stress and weight loss during a court case related to drug allegations, she turned to cosmetic surgery as a coping mechanism. Despite being acquitted, the incident had a serious impact on her career. Additionally, Tulisa faced a private video leak that damaged her public image and reputation. Although she claimed she was not a drug addict but rather a victim of a setup, these scandals led to a more negative public perception of her. Conor McGregor, the famous Irish MMA fighter, has become an icon in the world of martial arts with an impressive record in the UFC. He is well known for his brash and bold personality both inside and outside the ring. McGregor grabs attention with his powerful and precise fighting style, often knocking out opponents with devastating punches. His sharp combat skills, combined with his confident persona, have made him one of the most prominent fighters in UFC history. However, McGregor's personal life has faced many challenges, including controversies surrounding his health and lifestyle. While there is no official information about him undergoing plastic surgery, many have speculated that McGregor may have used human growth hormone, HGH, and steroids to rapidly build muscle, resulting in noticeable changes in his appearance, such as a fuller face and a more muscular body. Additionally, Concerns about his health have grown due to reports of substance abuse, including cocaine use and a partying lifestyle. The leg fracture he suffered during UFC 264 in 2021 severely impacted McGregor's career, forcing him to undergo surgery and take an extended break from the octagon.
Zac Efron is a standout star in Hollywood, famously known for his role in the High School Musical series in the 2000s. With his handsome looks, bright smile, and ideal physique, Efren was once considered a symbol of masculine beauty and attracted millions of fans worldwide, however, Zac Efron's personal life has faced numerous challenges. In 2021, rumors circulated about him having cosmetic surgery when his face changed noticeably. Efren later clarified that the changes in his appearance were due to a serious jaw injury he sustained in 2013, not cosmetic surgery. The injury caused the muscles in his jaw to overdevelop in response, leading to a temporary change in his looks. Additionally, in 2013, Zach went to rehab for issues with alcohol and drug addiction, particularly cocaine. The pressures of fame from a young age led him to substance abuse. Efren has also struggled with mental health issues, including depression and a fear of open spaces. These challenges have significantly impacted his career, but he has continued to work hard and persevere in his acting career. Tara Reid, the star of the popular, American Pie, series, was once an icon of youthful beauty and allure in the late 1990s and early 2000s. However, her career and public image have faced significant challenges, particularly after a series of botched cosmetic surgeries. In 2004, Reid underwent breast augmentation and liposuction, but the results were far from what she had hoped for. Scarring on her stomach and an uneven body appearance severely affected her looks, leading to the loss of many acting opportunities. Photos of Reed's imperfect body post-surgery became a public and media talking point, causing a considerable decline in her career. In addition, Tara Reed also struggled with alcohol addiction. She was frequently seen at parties in a state of intoxication, which further damaged her reputation. In 2008, Reed voluntarily entered rehab to seek treatment, admitting that alcohol had caused numerous problems for her and her family. While she made a successful return with roles in the Sharknado series, the lasting effects of her failed plastic surgeries and struggles with addiction have left a deep mark on her life. Britney Spears, once dubbed the Princess of Pop, made significant contributions to the entertainment industry with iconic hits like Baby One More Time and Toxic. She was a music icon of the late 90s and early 2000s and helped shape the global pop music landscape. In her younger years, Britney captivated millions of fans worldwide with her youthful energy, charming face, and stunning figure. However, Britney's personal life has been marked by numerous challenges, deeply impacting her career and well being. While she hasn't openly discussed cosmetic surgery, she did admit to considering it and has undergone minor procedures like Botox injections. Her mental health issues became serious in 2007, during a highly publicized breakdown, most notably when she shaved her head and exhibited erratic behavior. The pressure from the media and her family led to struggles with addiction, which resulted in her losing custody of her children and living under her father's conservatorship for many years. Courtney Love, the lead singer of the rock band Hole and the widow of the late singer Kurt Cobain, is one of the most controversial figures in entertainment. Her career is marked not only by her music but also by her film roles, particularly in The People vs. Larry Flint, 1996, which earned her a Golden Globe nomination. In her youth, Courtney Love was known for her wild, edgy beauty, fitting the image of a rebellious rock star. However, her tumultuous personal life has taken a toll on her appearance. Love has admitted to undergoing multiple cosmetic surgeries, including a nose job in the 1980s and a facelift at age 35, following advice from Goldie Hawn. 
Despite being initially dissatisfied with the results, she continued to make adjustments to improve her look. Addiction has also been a significant part of Love's life. She struggled with heroin addiction and encountered numerous drug-related incidents. By 2020, she announced she had been sober for 18 months, although her health continued to be severely affected by other issues, such as severe anemia in 2021. Pamela Anderson, the iconic sex symbol of the 1990s, made a lasting mark on the entertainment world with her role in the TV series Baywatch. She became known for her alluring beauty and striking looks, especially her flowing blonde hair and curvaceous figure, which became the standard of beauty during that era. However, Anderson has faced many personal challenges. She gained attention for her decision to undergo breast augmentation to fit the glamorous image beloved by the public. By 1999, however, she decided to have the implants removed, as she no longer felt confident in her appearance and regretted her initial choice. On the health front, she contracted hepatitis C from sharing a tattoo needle with her ex-husband Tommy Lee. After battling the disease for 16 years, she was fortunate to be cured in 2015 thanks to a new treatment. While the illness didn't cause serious long-term health effects, it had a significant impact on her life and decisions. Her personal life, full of turmoil and scandals, particularly the infamous sex tape leak with Tommy Lee, greatly affected her career. Roseanne Barr is a renowned American comedian, producer, and writer, best known for her role in the TV series, Roseanne, which aired from 1988 to 1997. Her performance earned her numerous awards, including an Emmy and a Golden Globe. In her younger years, Roseanne was known for her striking beauty and confident style, unafraid to showcase her personality. Throughout her life, Barr has undergone several cosmetic surgeries to maintain her appearance. She has had a nose job, facelift, and breast reduction. In 1998, Barr opted for weight loss surgery, specifically gastric bypass, which helped her shed over 80 pounds. She later had additional surgery to remove excess skin and further refine her figure. Roseanne Barr has faced various health issues, including Bell's palsy as a child and a serious brain injury from a car accident at 16, which led to behavioral changes and eight months of psychiatric treatment. She has also publicly disclosed that she is on the autism spectrum. Her career has been marred by controversies, particularly due to shocking statements on social media, culminating in her dismissal from the Roseanne show in 2018. Nicole Eggert, best known for her role as Summer Quinn on the iconic 90s series, Baywatch, was celebrated for her stunning beauty and sizzling figure. With her gorgeous face, shiny blonde hair, and fit physique, Nicole became a symbol of allure in the entertainment world at the time, however, her career wasn't always smooth sailing. Nicole faced numerous health and career issues related to cosmetic surgery. She publicly shared her decision to get breast implants at the age of 18 only to later undergo surgery to have them removed due to regret. These cosmetic procedures did not bring her the satisfaction she had hoped for and even negatively impacted her health and public image. By 2023, Nicole Eggert faced a significant shock when she was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer. This illness profoundly affected her health and spirit, and had a severe impact on her personal life and career. Lindsay Lohan, 
a well-known American star, was once recognized as a promising young talent in Hollywood. Starting her career as a child, Lohan made a strong impression with her role in the film The Parent Trap, 1998, and continued to find success with Mean Girls, 2004. In her youth, Lohan's natural beauty, highlighted by her red hair and radiant smile, made her one of the most sought-after young stars, however, Lohan's tumultuous personal life quickly overshadowed her career. She began struggling with issues related to alcohol and drug addiction, leading to multiple arrests for driving under the influence and legal violations. Despite numerous attempts at rehab, Lohan struggled to fully overcome these challenges. Additionally, there have been many rumors about her undergoing cosmetic surgery, although Lohan has never confirmed them. The decline in her mental health and appearance due to an unhealthy lifestyle significantly impacted her career, causing her to miss out on valuable opportunities in the film industry. Brendan Fraser is an American-Canadian actor, known for his roles in action and adventure films like The Mummy and George of the Jungle. In his younger years, he was admired for his striking, ruggedly handsome looks, which captivated millions of fans. However, Fraser's career wasn't always smooth sailing. Due to performing many dangerous stunts, he suffered numerous serious injuries. In order to recover, Fraser underwent several surgeries, including a knee replacement, back surgery, and a vocal cord repair. He spent around seven years in and out of hospitals dealing with these health issues. In addition to his physical struggles, Fraser also faced several personal hardships, including the death of his mother, a tumultuous divorce, and being a victim of sexual harassment. These events deeply affected his mental health, leading him to step away from his career for an extended period. However, Fraser made an incredible comeback, winning an Oscar in 2023 for his role in The Whale, marking a new and successful chapter in his career. Liam Payne, former member of the famous boy band One Direction, had an impressive career in the entertainment industry before facing numerous personal challenges. In his younger years, Liam stood out with his striking good looks, known for his chiseled features and captivating deep-set eyes. He wasn't just a talented singer, but also a fashion icon, drawing in a huge fanbase thanks to his masculine beauty and confident demeanor. However, after One Direction disbanded, Liam struggled with mental health issues and addiction. He has openly shared his battle with alcohol and drug addiction, even admitting to contemplating suicide due to the pressures of fame. In 2021, Liam revealed that these habits had severely impacted both his physical and mental health. Although Liam has never confirmed undergoing plastic surgery, there has been speculation that he had procedures such as buccal fat removal, which sharpened his facial features. Despite these challenges, Liam is now successfully in recovery and has been sober for over six months, no longer reliant on alcohol. And there you have it, the shocking downfalls of 20 celebrities who let fame and recklessness ruin their lives. Which story surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Hollywood's dark side, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. That way, you'll never miss out on more jaw-dropping celebrity stories. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.